What should we do about Syria? Well, uh, let me say first that it's very important for everybody to understand that what we're doing with the world community in Libya is what the Arab world wants us, us to do, what the Arab street wants us to do. So finally, we, we are on the side of, of the mass of people um, yearning to be free within uh, the Arab world. Secondly, um, I think the world has made a very clear statement in Libya which uh, is being heard by both the Arab people and the Arab dictators elsewhere in the region. And I'd say with regard to Syria that Assad, the dictator there, ought to uh, and probably is getting a very clear message. If he turns his weapons uh, on his people and begins to slaughter them as Gaddafi did, He's going to run the risk of having the world com community come in and impose a no-fly zone and protect civilian population, uh, just as we're doing in Libya. And therefore, uh, Assad uh, has one choice, and that is to negotiate uh, with the uh, uh, freedom fighters in Syria uh, to, to create an entirely different uh, government let, let, let there. Me he let me just interrupt very briefly, go. Senator Lieberman. We're running out of time, but are you suggesting that you would support some kind of international coalition to go in and do in Syria what we're doing now in Libya? If uh, Assad does what Gaddafi was doing, which is to threaten to go house to house and kill anybody who, who's not on his side, there's a precedent now that the world community has set in Libya, and it's the right one. We're not going to stand by and allow this Assad to slaughter his people like his father did uh, years ago. And in doing so, we're being consistent with our American values, and, and we're also f on the side of the Arab people. Let, let me who let want me switch. Let me switch to you.